In a response to three recent lawsuits alleging sexual assault, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs has announced a temporary stepping aside as chairman of Revolt, the music-oriented television network he co-founded in 2013. The decision was confirmed by representatives of Combs. A statement posted on Revolt's Instagram page emphasized that while Combs has not been involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the network, his temporary departure aims to ensure that Revolt remains dedicated to its mission of creating meaningful content for the culture and amplifying the voices of black people across the globe. The move follows a series of legal challenges with R&B singer Cassie accusing Combs of sexual assault and abuse over a decade. Cassie, also known as Cassandra Ventura, previously recorded for Combs Bad Boy record label. The two reached a settlement just a day after the lawsuit was filed. Last week, another lawsuit was filed under the New York Adult Survivors Act by Joy Dickinson Neal, alleging that Combs drugged, sexually assaulted and abused her, further accusing him of distributing revenge porn. The suit also names Combs companies, Bad Boy Entertainment and Combs Enterprises as defendants. Another lawsuit filed by an anonymous Jane Doe claims that Combs and R&B singer Aaron Hall took turns raping her and her friends in 1990-1991. A representative for Combs vehemently dismissed these allegations as fabricated claims and a money grab. Revolt, founded by Combs in collaboration with Andy Schuen, operates with a mission to shift the narrative for black people globally. The network has produced shows such as Love and Respect with Killer Mike, Revolt Black News and Sneaking in with Trusky. As Combs takes his temporary step back, the industry awaits further developments in this complex and sensitive legal situation. Well, that's it for now. We'll be back again with yet another news. Until then, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel and keep motivating us. Thank you.